Hey everybody, in this video we will add feather icons to our project. Now, I found feather icons kind of by mistake uh, on one of the, uh, the bootstrap example projects. I like the dashboard and it came with feather icons and I thought, hey, these are pretty cool. So you should take a look at them. They're right here at feathericons.com and we'll add these to our project and to our gulp build uh, just so we can use these on the front end, of course, and make things look a little nicer. Just go over here, we'll open our terminal. Make sure you're getting started on the add slugify done branch if you want to follow along. If you don't want to follow along, you want to just kind of jump right to the end, then jump to the add feather icons done branch, and then I'll have everything done for you. So first thing we need to do is we need to run an npm install on feather dash icons, make sure you save that as a dev dependency. And I'm actually starting from scratch. I jump around a lot, so I delete my node modules whenever I change my dependencies. So I'm gonna run a basic npm install as well just to get everything else working. And once that's finished, like I said, we have to update our gulp build. So we'll go to our gulp file and we have to scroll to our vendor JS. This, uh, the distributed uh, code comes Unminified, so we can add this to this array and that will be minified for us. I've just prepared that for you, so I'll just paste it in. It's found at feather icons dist feather.js. Now, one other thing feather icons comes with a bunch of SVG files, so we have to actually move these icons to our public directory so we can actually use them. So, I'll copy that in here. So, basically, you write gulp task, we'll call this a move icons task. We set the source to where we find the actual icons and we just grab everything that ends with an SVG. And instead of doing any sort of transforming on it, we're simply going to pipe that to a new destination in public slash icons. I did it this way because uh, the feather code just kind of looks for the icons directory by default. So rather than fool around with that, I just thought it'd be easier to put it there. Uh, of course, you have to take this new task and put it into our default task. That way when we first run gulp, it will move the icons for us. Now, of course, every time you start gulp, you don't need to move them again and again, but this is easy. It really takes a few seconds for them to be moved again. You won't duplicate them, so you don't have to worry about that if you're moving them more than once. Uh, it'll just overwrite it each time. And then of course our watches are still just on our JavaScript and our CSS files, so no worries there. And you just want to make sure you have the slash right there so we get to the right directory. So let's see what that looks like. We'll run our gulp task. And I have to open another terminal here so I can start my server. Go Adonis serve dev. Good, let's make sure our gulp is working. Now one final thing, we have to initialize feather to actually add these icons when we put an icon on a page. And it's kind of tricky because we have turbo links working. We have to use one of the turbo links hooks to make sure that we're replacing the icons every time turbo links does what's called a visit. So whenever URLs change. So we will go to our app in our, our app.js in our assets uh, folder. And I'll just paste this in, I'll replace this. So we add an event listener to the TurboLinks load function and load is called every time a new uh, visit is done. And we just hook into the global feather variable that's available now and we call replace on it. And you can see our custom JS refreshed. And this replace will be what will actually add our icons to a page whenever we add the icon. Let's actually add an icon to the page now. And uh, let me see, I think I'll replace our nav bar title there just with a home icon and we'll make that link to home. So let's see if we can find a home here. Sure enough, there's a home icon. So we'll go to our nav edge file and you see here at the top we have nav bar. So to add a, an icon onto the page, you can use a span tag if you don't want to disrupt what's around, uh, around you too much and you call it data feather attribute here. And we'll just set that to home, so that's the name of the icon, of course. And if you put any text in here, by the way, it just won't show up. And we'll set this to link to the actual home page. So let's uh, go back here, refresh. And there we have our home icon. And if we go to, let's say, page, click this again. There we go, that works as expected. 
I think you'll find that feather icons are really easy to work with. I like them quite a bit. Just make sure that you hook into, let's see, into this event listener here to make sure that the icons are switching out properly. If you have any trouble getting this set up, for whatever reason, please write something down below. I appreciate all comments and thumbs up and all the rest. Make sure you subscribe because we have more videos coming up very soon. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.